Spoon, your action figure aficionado here, bringing you uh, what I like to call a vintage variance report. Now, with this one, I've highlighted Kenner's The Real Ghostbusters toy line being one of my all-time favorite properties to collect. With uh, starting this out uh, with Winston Zedmore, and it is the fifth wave of Ghostbusters called Slimed Heroes. As a child, I actually did not have any out of this particular set, but this particular uh, figure has produced a variation that most people are not too familiar with. Sorry, I'm trying to gain my bearings here. It's been a long time since I've done a video, and I'm trying to start this all up again, but only unless you're probably a really diehard fan of the Kenner's line, this figure, the variation, probably went unnoticed, and I've never really seen it highlighted even when it goes up for sale. What you see here is side-by-side -side comparisons of the Proton Stream, one being a yellow and one being more of a tealish, greenish, blue color, which is the real one, is the question, or what is the main one, which one's harder to get. I would have to say uh, the yellow one is less common. Now, when you take a look at the cards here, let's just flip around to the back side here, you will see, adjust my lighting, you'll see that the advertisements show the more greenish colored stream in both pictures here. We have all through there and then down here again, not incorporating the yellow one, just that one there. So for completionist diehard collectors, before they fall down here, we have a fairly easy to track down and not too costly example of a variation here. Let's just get you in on this again. I love the artwork on old toys. Showcase the special features here too and how they change with temperature or you get them wet with their ghost so to speak and they become slimed. I, I really wish I did have some of these uh, out of this particular wave when I was a child. I probably would have loved playing with them. It is nice that they brought back the proton packs for this line too because up until this uh, wave everyone had been other than the first release, had been a special little instrument designed for the types of ghosts that they came with. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah. So I'm still a little fuzzy, though, if it is truly the fifth set or the sixth set. Of toys, I know they... I think I'll try to investigate that and actually do a report on the full line here and just going back up and forth kind of a test run video here so sorry for the footage and all that but figure I can try to learn how to incorporate my new device here and try to put out a video that hopefully will teach someone that is passionate about collecting these things as I am and like I said I'm Real Ghostbusters is probably my favorite toy line to collect. And we have uh, several variations in the toy line itself. Like I said, this one is not as commonly known. I, I'd like to think I have some pristine examples here. They virtually look case, case fresh. So we'll sign off with just saying... Uh, Happy collecting, this is Spoon, your action figure aficionado.